Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt. This is my wife, Samantha. Hello. And today we are watching A Clockwork Orange. What do you know about this? I actually know nothing. I'm not even actually sure what the genre is. I'm guessing it's like a sci-fi film. I know it's not that. Okay. <laughs> I, I haven't seen this movie either, but I know it's just like an interesting movie. That's probably the best that, that I've heard. It's another Stanley Kubrick movie. Yes. Which we've seen a handful so far. Yes, and they've all been great. I'm really excited to watch this. Yeah, I'm excited to check it out. We've enjoyed everything so far, so I'm ready to jump into some more Kubrick. If you would like to watch the full length reaction to this, as well as everything else that we have reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on Twitch, Instagram, or Twitter, all of those links are in the description as well. And with that, let's get into the movie. Again, with the soundtrack, Already hitting hard. Whoa. That's an interesting first image. Those lashes. Right? Those like bottom lashes. <laughs> All right. Milk. Is that blood? And like bleeding nipples. Mannequins. This is very interesting style so far. This is a weird kind of club. Milk bar. Say violence? Yeah, like milk laced with some drugs. One thing I could never stand to see a filthy, dirty old drunkie. Uh-oh. They're ready for violence with the milk. <laughs> Jeez, what a start to this movie. The way this is like set up where it's on a stage with classical music going. Uh -oh. Whoa. It's coming out of the darkness. Just a straight up gang fight. Oh, they're outnumbered. Oh, oh my God. Well, they're clearly winning. Yeah, I mean, they're like on something. <laughs> yeah, they're on that milk. The police. Oh, I didn't even hear the police. Sign I didn't in. either. Whoa. There's some already like very impressive shots in this movie. Oh. oh. Dang, right under. Do they all make it under that? I think so. They're just like daredevils. Yeah, they're like out of control. They're just causing terror everywhere. I assume they're gonna have to stop. Seems like a nice house. Yeah, it's all secluded up a long driveway. Who on earth could that be? I'll go and see. What an interesting chair? Yeah, just interesting style, interesting camera work. Yeah. There's a young man! He says there's been an accident. Well, I suppose you better let him in. Oh, man. Her instincts were right. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> they know these people? I don't think so. I think they just picked a poor target. So far, this movie's been very intense. Back for some more milk? This is how you get your drinks? Who came up with this movie? Yeah. Oh. I just noticed they have like eyeballs on their like wrists. Oh, yeah. Jesus. There hasn't been like a scene without nudity yet. It looks like maybe this was a nice area. Right. Yeah, this is like some strange dystopian world. These sets must have been incredible to make. Right? All his adventures. Whoa. Jeez. This is terrifying. This is mom. Guessing. How old is he supposed to be? I don't know. He says he goes to work. More like violence and rape. Yeah, he walked past someone. She has said something about a pain somewhere. I think it should be clear by this after lunch. Everything about this movie so far just weirds me out. Whose teeth are that? Yeah, I assume maybe his mom's. 
Watch out, little Alex, because next time it's not going to be the corrective school anymore. If you've no respect for your horrible self, you at least might have some for me. That was a bit of a nastiness last night, yes? Pretty extreme. Your name was mentioned. Nobody can prove anything about anybody as usual. Save you from yourself. Oh, what the f... No, what are you... What, what is this? I'm warning you, little Alex, to keep your handsome young proboscis out of the dirt. The fact that the camera's just been staying on this guy. God. Oh, I thought he was doing that on purpose. Oh. That's disgusting. So it seems like Alex has a pretty long history of fucking up. And his, yeah. he looks like he's on his last chance. He's already in a disciplinary school. He's got some interesting style. I think kind of everybody yeah, does. <laughs> everyone has interesting style. Okay. So you just pick them up at the record store? <laughs> yeah, I guess. Oh, what the heck? This is the most interesting sex scene I've ever seen. Okay, the other one's done. Nope. Oh, all right, going for going for it again. Okay, she's going for <laughs> What the fuck? That was so odd. His friends are in his building. Yeah, just waiting downstairs for him. Got the gang outfit on. To what do I owe the extreme pleasure of this surprising visit? No, he wasn't expecting them. We got worried. And you had not turned up. Happy Polly Lodges. Happy Polly Lodges? Apologies? <laughs> Giving orders and discipline and such, perhaps. You sure you don't be happy about your bed? As I am your Drugan leader, I'm entitled to know what goes on, eh? <laughs> no more picking on Dim, brother. I think they're all getting tired of him. Seems like it. The big, big, big money's available is what will the English say. Big, big money. Now tell me what you had in mind, Georgie boy. Do not think he's being supportive. I'm, like, scared of his reaction to this. Yeah. Oh, he's turning on him. Oh. Oh, jeez. Oh. This dude is out. Oh, okay. I thought he was going to just straight up stab him. Man, he turned on him quick. I guess they just accepted it. Jeez. It's like an abusive relationship with all of them. Yeah. What's the right answer here? I don't know. Ninety percent of this movie is gonna need to be censored. <laughs> this girl's in trouble. It's a good rule. Soon they're just gonna go in a different way. No, I think so. Oh wow! Just all of the artwork in this movie. It's just so sexualized. Wow. I think it was going to be so easy for him to get up there. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, they're sending a patrol car. Oh. Violence. I love her. <laughs> she already called the cops. What kind of fight is this? I hope she clocks him. Oh. She's never going to be able to reach him. Yeah. Oh, my God. Cops are here. I don't think he ever let his three friends in. So it's just him. Oh. Oh, they just set him up. No good sitting there in hope, my little brothers. I know the law, you bastards. We know the law, too. But knowing the law isn't everything. Maybe oh, that then. Oh, he's gonna get fucked <laughs> up. <laughs> oh, the disciplinary guy. He was done with him, too. This is all that he needed. Yes, Ooh. Boy, it does look a mess, doesn't it? Violence makes violence. Violence makes violence. They forced me to do it! I'm oh innocent! Oh my gosh. <laughs> you are now a murderer, little Alex. 
I did not realize that he killed her. I thought she died right away, but I guess she just died at the hospital. Must be a great disappointment to you, son. He is a pretty big disappointment. Oh. Oof. Going to prison. Fourteen years. I like that he speaks so highly of himself that he, like, doesn't actually belong there. Right. Even though he literally just murdered somebody. No! Alexander de Large, sir. Right! Murder, sir. Right! And even, like, the smirk. Right. It's like he has a sense of being too good for anything. Mm-hmm. I love this, like, long shot. You lose it. There's been so many, like, just static camera shots. Mm-hmm. Rotting and peeling. It's an interesting prison. They all have like suits on and mm -hmm. in a classroom setting. And nobody is taking this seriously. No. Being in this hellhole and human zoo for two years now. Two years? I thought this was like in the beginning. I didn't realize it had been two years. Yeah. It was my rabbit to help the prison Charlie with the Sunday service. But he was very fond of myself. Also now very interested in the big book. Took on religion? I feel like I don't believe him. Oh my god. Fantasizing about killing Jesus. I like the parts where these old Yehudis toll chock each other. <laughs> He's like sick. Yeah. Can I ask you a question in private? It's about this new thing that old talking about get you out of prison in no time at all. What? How about putting me in for this new treatment, Father? Oh man, he just wants to get out. It has not been used in this prison yet. And I have heard that there are very serious dangers involved. What is this? I only know I want to be good. He's so manipulative. Yeah. And he's kept this up for like two years. These shots are still so crazy. Yeah. There's always so much symmetry yeah. in all of these shots. <laughs> so much nudity on the wall. Maybe this is like the leader of the experiment or something? Could be. Punishment means nothing to them, you can see that. You're absolutely right, sir! Shut up, bleeding hole! What crime did you commit? The accidental killing of a person, sir. Excellent. Excellent. He'll do. This vicious young hoodlum will be transformed out of all recognition. He's just gonna fake it, regardless. Yeah. Well, he got what he wanted. You will be able to leave state custody in a little over a fortnight. I suppose that prospect wow. is... Wow. That's fast. Wonder if this is still in the trial phases. The experiment? Yeah. yeah I think it is. Because they were saying they don't even know if it works. Your problem now. Right. Sees right through the bullshit of the last two years. Now, in a few minutes, you'll meet Dr. Brodsky and we'll begin your treatment. Great. Experimental we'll serum. Number 114. Ooh, I don't like this close-up What's already. What's the iPhone for, then? What exactly is the treatment here going to be, then? We're just going to show you some films. This seems scary. Oh, no. Uh, oh, my God. This is straight torture. Uh... Oh my god. So they're just showing him violent films? Oh, his face is changing. So they're probably injecting him with something that makes him feel bad while he's watching this. Yeah. Oh my god, this is horror. Oh my god. So he just correlates the horror that he's seeing with the horror that he's feeling? Now tomorrow there will be two sessions, of course, morning and afternoon. Violence is a very horrible thing. That's what you're learning now. You felt ill this afternoon because you're getting better. By this time tomorrow you'll be healthier still. What an interesting experiment. Yeah, I wonder how long he has to do this for. Just literally making him physically sick as he watches violence.
Wow. Took it from that photo in his room. This is like freaking me out. Jesus. No. Oh my gosh. They did take his favorite music. They took his favorite music and associated it with violence. Did he graduate? No. I think they're going to like turn on this music or they're going to do something like studying him. Oh yeah, I mean he's a guinea pig. Tomorrow we send him out with confidence into the world again. Oh. Tomorrow he's out. Prison taught him the false smile, as well as confirming him in those he had long practiced before. I don't know if he believes it. No. The problem of criminal violence is soon to be a thing of the past. Observe all. Yep, put on a show. I have complete faith in Bronsky. Ooh, see if they can rile him up. Oh, he's getting sick. Whoa. Oh. He literally just gets physically sick. So it worked? I think so. I mean, he practically threw up. Oh. So he literally just gets physically sick at like any sort of stimulation. The boy has no real choice, has he? He ceases to be a wrongdoer, to be a creature capable of moral choice. Huh, I was not expecting that comment. He's right. The point is that it works. It's like, yes, it did stop him from being violent, but how much more of his life is going to be stopped? Killer Alex freed. Crime cure. They're terrified. I mean, he is a killer. I'm completely reformed. Do we believe that he actually changed? There's a strange fella sitting on the sofa. It's Joe. He rents your room. Uh-oh. I've heard about you. Breaking the hearts of your poor grieving parents. It's like they got a new son. They've let me be more like a son to them. <laughs> Joe! Joe! Oh, wow, he really can. Treatment. Dang, it really makes him sick. This guy's just roasting him. I mean, he does deserve nothing. Yeah, but it's just like this stranger. <laughs> this stranger just totally took over his family. <laughs> Such a weird dynamic. I mean, he's just got to start over. Mm-hmm. Oh, is that the... That's who they beat up a while ago. Yeah. He obviously doesn't remember him. Oh, now he remembers. I never forget a face because this is the poisonous young oh. swine that near shot me in. He's way outnumbered. It was old age having a go at you. What a reversal. Back away! Out of my way! Are you kidding me? His friends become cops? Oh my gosh. This is like a nightmare for him. Yeah, he's just running to everyone who he treated like shit. I can't believe they became police officers. Oh, jeez, the sound. Man, he's in there for a while. Yeah. Oh, oh. my God. He's literally just running into everyone. It's like everybody's getting their revenge. So what else could that be? Now it's just a bodybuilder. Where's his wife? Yeah. I assume this bodybuilder guy is going to absolutely fuck him up. I wonder if they'll recognize him, though, because he had a mask on. What's happened to you, my boy? Doesn't really recognize him yet. I knew he would not remember me. 
I know you. Uh. Are you not the poor victim of this horrible new technique? Oh. My heart goes out to you, poor, poor boy. Draw a bath for this young man. I don't know if he realizes or not. Yeah, I don't know. It looks like he's very eager to get some revenge or something. Oh, he was singing this song when it happened. You have to remember. Oh, he definitely remembers. I mean, the fact that he was willing to stay there after he realized where he was and, like, pretty much take advantage of that man. Yeah. So what this is why mean? he is a bodybuilder living right. in a home. Kind of you, sir, to leave this out for me. This is so oh, awkward. All right. This guy's going to lose it. Yeah. Try the wine. Won't you join me? No. <laughs> it's just stalling. Oh, my gosh. Smells nice, too. Very refreshing. Have another glass. <laughs> my wife used to do everything for me and leave me to my writing. She's dead. Oh. We were assaulted by a gang of vicious young hoodlums in this house. The doctors told me it was pneumonia, but I knew what it was. I phoned some friends while you were having your bath. I don't think I want to trouble you any further, sir. I think I should be leaving. <laughs> Julian's not going to let you go anywhere. Good evening, sir. Who are these people? Mm. Mm. If you like talking to us, answering a few questions, we want to help you. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> the death stare from this guy. I I'm very fond of music, especially Beethoven. While they were showing me a particularly bad film, the background music was playing Beethoven. I can't listen to the ninth anymore at all. Oh man, is he gonna torture him with the ninth? I feel that any second, something terrible is gonna happen to me. Yes. Oh! Poison him? Is he just dead or just knocked out? He's just knocked out. Oh no. You're right. Is he strapped down? Oh, where is he? Oh. So loud. Strapped him in here. Oh, is he going to be able to get through the window? That doesn't look high enough. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It broke a lot. And he got really messed up, though. Inhumane. Wow. So now he has become a victim. Poster child for government abuse. Mm. I'm Dr. Taylor. I haven't seen you before. I'm your psychiatrist. I'm going to show you some slides and you're going to tell me what you think about them. Oh, they're going to see maybe if he's still cured. You sold me a crummy watch. I want my money back. Pick up your ass! <laughs> I assume his yeah. cure is gone? That's all there is to it. But you seem well on the way to making a complete recovery. Which is pretty bad. <laughs> Good evening, my boy. Hi, hi, hi. Still the minister? Doggies. I figured he was out after the whole scandal. That's what I thought. Deeply sorry about this, my boy. An inquiry will place the responsibility where it belongs. Ah, oh, so he doesn't get any blame. We never wished you harm, but there are some who did, and do, for they thought they could then blame it all on the government. Is he going to get massively rewarded? Subversive literature. He formed this idea that you had been responsible for the death of someone near and dear to him. Yeah. We put him away where he can do you no harm. And when you leave here, you will have no worries. We shall see to everything. Oh, my God. This government has lost a lot of popularity because of you, my boy. And you, Alex, can be instrumental in changing the public's verdict. It's just a wow. pawn. I understand you're fond of music. One that I hope that you will like. Well... Is he really cured? He'll yeah. enjoy the music. Uh, he seems to not be freaking out. Oh my god. All right. That was a clockwork orange. What'd you think? That was wild. 
with almost every Stanley Kubrick movie, uh, I don't know how to feel afterwards. Yeah, I well, feel like that's been a central theme for everyone we've watched. Like, immediately after, we're like, what? Hold on. What did we just watch? Yeah. A lot of times it's more, it's like, I don't know what to think about the movie in terms of what it's telling me. This, I don't know how to feel because your main character is a murdering rapist who at the end of the movie seems to get rewarded pretty heavily. Yeah, there was this huge arc um, for Alex. Like he went from, you know, in the beginning, it was literally like beating up people and I wanted to like them because I thought that they were maybe going to be protecting some people. They obviously kind of fought with that other, you know, say gang of guys. Yeah, they beat up the homeless guy first. Right. So that I was like, uh, but it seemed like it was almost like a personal thing that he just was like, you know, this guy's a drunk or whatever it is. Right. So it was like, okay, that was not good. But then they, they beat up those guys that were trying to, you know... Take advantage of that one girl who got away because of them. Right. But then it went back downhill when they went into that home and obviously... Yeah, they crippled the one guy. Yeah, and the wife eventually died yeah and then you know he gets caught in the last house where he actually murders someone right which was shocking like i didn't actually think that he killed her that when he hit her and it kind of did that quick flash of a bunch of stuff i just assumed that she was already dead um and then they confirmed it i get that she died in the hospital but yeah no i mean this is a very violent and sexual and just really pushing the borders of what you can put on screen. Yeah, I mean, it really is. It just like came down to like his story just being so crazy. Like yeah. we get through all of that in the beginning. Obviously he goes to jail in which he's seemed like he was kind of pretending to be a better person. It seemed like he was, especially when he was reading the Bible and it made it seem like, oh, he's so interested and religious now. And then he's fantasizing about being the guy who's whipping Jesus Christ. Right. And it's just like, I've never seen someone depicting the Bible, but then fantasizing about the evil parts of the Bible. Yeah, that I've never seen anything like that either. So that was extremely interesting to have your main character take that perspective. Yeah, it does feel like he was faking it that entire time. Right, which it's like, yeah, he was showing interest, I guess, in the Bible, but technically, yeah, it was not the interest that you're supposed to be showing when you're reading the Bible. No. You know, and then obviously it gets crazy when he gets picked to be part of this experiment. And the images he was seeing, first of all, like you have this thing about I, eyes. I can't wear, I've never once in my life tried to put contacts in yeah. because I cannot touch, I can't have anything touch my eyes. No, you I'll, can't do eye I'll, drops, I'll, nothing. I'll like, <laughs> I'll turn into the Hulk if someone tries to touch my eyes. Yeah. So I, I can't do it. So to see that, that was one of the grossest things I've ever seen. Just because that's, I, I, you can't CGI that. Like Malcolm McDowell had to have that done to his eyes. Like, and then you have little droppers so that his eyes don't go dry. Yeah. Just like constantly. I, like, that was just straight horror. Yeah, no. I mean, that for me was super uncomfortable. I mean, I do wear contacts on the daily. I am touching my eyes multiple times a day. But that was uncomfortable for me, so I was just imagining how awful that was for you. If you threw some spiders into that scene, I probably would have just got up and left. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, this movie just was insane. And it felt like almost we were being experimented on. It was almost like, like the character Alex was being shown all of this violence mm -hmm. and not looking away. And it was almost like, how much, like gross stuff can I put on screen and still keep an audience watching? Yeah, I mean, there was the use of imagery and then violence and then nudity and then the music, like all of it was just like, almost like a sensory overload when you're watching it. Yeah, because you're watching like, and the same way that, you know, they associated Beethoven's The Ninth with like horrific images of, uh, Alex said, the concentration camp. Mm -hmm. You know, we were listening to, like in this movie, we're listening to classical music as men are assaulting a woman on stage. Mm -hmm. And it's like, what are we watching here? Yeah, no, honestly, that scene in the beginning, they were in a theater yeah. and they were coming from the top down, they were panning. And 
I thought, I was like, oh, is this some kind of play? And then her, they started literally ripping her clothes off and I was like, wait a minute, like. I mean, he was literally in a theater mm -hmm. watching this and it felt like we were in a theater experiencing it with him. I had no expectations going into this because I actually, I literally had no idea what this movie was I mean, was in the beginning about. you were like, sci-fi? Yeah, I, I didn't know what this was about at all, but we knew it was a Stanley Kubrick film. And I feel like from everything that we've seen so far, so we've si seen Full Metal Jacket, The Shining. In 2001. In 2001. Like this had to have like pushed the limits to what we've seen so far from him. Like crazy. Yeah. I, I don't really know how to describe it, but it was just like, it was just like an overload of what was going on. And the story was good you get through and you understand so i feel like in this one as opposed to the other films we've seen like you said it's like we know what happened and there's no questioning really anything right it's more how did it make us feel yeah a lot of the other films were like what is exactly going on in this movie uh, where the movie ends this there are very few questions left mm -hmm. and exactly like you said it's more about how did we feel watching this right because, you know, that was a strong scene where he's literally being, you know, associated with the sickness of his physical body mm -hmm. with violence and sex, even unintentionally music. Right. And I feel like it comes down to with the music is that he recognized that piece. Yeah. I think they kind of assumed like, you know, this murdering young guy. He's not gonna know Beethoven. He's not, yeah, he's not a fan of classical music. Like. Yeah, so it's not gonna come down to the music, it's the imagery, like this is what we're trying to get from it. But I honestly didn't even realize that the music was part of it. I thought that was us watching it, that right. we were hearing that. I assumed that he was getting whatever was playing on screen, he was getting that sound. Um, and he wasn't. So, you know, the music, as with all of his films, played such an important role Absolutely. in the story. And, you know, he gets through this cure period and it actually works. Mm -hmm. Maybe it works too much. Mm -hmm. um, you know, going to that demonstration on stage where he's confronted with violence and will literally lick the boot of someone just to get out of the situation. Mm -hmm. Confronted with this woman that he's clearly obsessed with mm -hmm. and he can't even bring himself to physically touch her. Mm -hmm. And, you know, after all of this kind of display on stage the priest comes up and it almost seems like he was like this is taking too much it eliminates choice mm -hmm. like yes we have cured evil but we have taken away free will right that was i feel like probably the most powerful like lines in the film yeah but i mean he's right like you've now created essentially like someone that just fears the physical repercussions of what happens when he's around violence or sex or that piece of music. Because it didn't change the way that he thought or that he wanted to act. Mm -hmm. It just literally made him physically sick. Right. So it just turned him into something that was not really human. And it was interesting to see the priest of all those people there to kind of stand up and be like against what they were kind of doing, it seemed like. Right, because in the end, it was technically successful. And right. for, let's say, the greater good of getting, you know, criminals off the streets and reforming them, but at what cost? Right, and then after that, you relive essentially a lot of the experiences from the beginning of the movie, which was very interesting to kind of go back because again, your main character is terrible. Mm -hmm. So you're not you're not rooting for him no. to be successful. Like, but then it's also weird to see him the victim, I guess, of the revenge. Right. Even though it's justly deserved. But it's yeah. still it's it's just super weird. Like you see all of those, you know, homeless people all beat him up. Right. And then his cop friends. Yeah. Just the way that he was portrayed as a victim, like in the newspapers yeah. and stuff. It was like, really? He still killed somebody. And then he killed technically two people. Oh yeah, he did terrible. He was a horrible yeah. human being. Yeah. So, and then for him to be portrayed as the victim. And then like you said at the very end, like he's now being essentially rewarded for what he went through. And he's now going to be, you know, the spokesperson for the government and the reform or whatever it is they're trying to push. Yeah, they just got such bad PR mm -hmm. that their solution was to 
give him anything he wanted just yeah. so that they could get a picture of him with his thumbs up being like hey i'm okay with this current government right which it's just so weird because yeah he got all of these people got the revenge and that was terrible like the government the the guy who got crippled who lost his wife mm -hmm. he got sent away somewhere yeah like, so that's just something that i was not expecting this massive kind of government theme yeah and that was just kind of like thrown in towards the end of the movie that I was like, holy crap, this took another crazy turn. Yeah. Where it's like, there was no one good. Like, who was good in this movie? Literally no one. Because even the government themselves, they, you know, punished that old man who didn't deserve anything and then rewarded this horrible person with whatever salary, whatever job. And he's cured now. He was able to fantasize about having sex he was able to fantasize about violence and not throw up yeah i mean he's cured from what they did to him but it's like he's still back to being an awful person now and he's just free yeah with even probably more power <laughs> yeah so and that's how that's how the movie ends like literally it's just like here you go the bad people win yeah the only good people in the movie were his parents right and you know he just dismissed them at the end. Right. So it's just absolutely a crazy movie. I don't know how to feel about watching any of that. We've seen a couple of movies either with similar actors or similar directors or something or the same franchise. But really, every single film by Stanley Kubrick is just some otherworldly experience. I think that's the perfect way to describe it. I know we have a handful more. Yes. But I need to like space these out or something like that to give myself my mind some time to refresh and breathe yeah. after these experiences. Yeah, that's it. It's like watching a Kubrick film is literally like just an experience. Like you're not watching a movie. Like this is a whole experience. And the, the one thing I would say is like if you take everything away from this movie, just all of like the harsh things about it and you just leave the style of this, I would have to assume this influenced a lot of people's just the costume designs, mm -hmm. the art, mm -hmm. just like again with the shot selections. It's just like so very stylistic. It seems that that's like a theme too is just like making like literal art. Yeah. This was definitely a lot more violent. <laughs> graphic. Um, yeah, and graphic than what we've seen before but you still have those elements of just like moving art essentially yeah absolutely an experience definitely an experience and i'm glad that we watched it and i'm looking forward to more kubrick films yeah absolutely so if you'd like to see the full-length reaction to this as well as everything else that we've reacted to the link to our patreon is in the description if you'd like to interact with us on any other types of social media all those links are in the description as well and with that peace everyone Bye. Bye.